We're taking a look at Sarah Jane Perry's forehand cross court nick. It's not quite a cross court nick, and I've chosen this video on purpose for a couple of reasons. It's a really interesting way to look at how she executes the shot, as well as some of the tactics and mindset she's in while she's playing it. So a couple of things to talk about. She's got her opponent pinned a little bit. Yes, it's a loose shot. And from this position there, a lot of what she does well is the disguise in the shot. So a lot of times I see people get into that position, get really excited and keen and try and boom that ball into the cross corner really early. And it takes away any of the subtlety. And because of that, sometimes that ball pops out to the middle quite a lot. Okay, look, SJ's shot isn't necessarily the best and it does pop out a little bit. But where she's really effective is what she's done in regard to her opponent and sending her to the right-hand side of the court. And if you look at her mammy there, it goes wrong way a little bit. And now she's coming in from an awkward angle around her body. Another good point and tactic that Sarah Jane uses here is the ability to carve the ball and to not necessarily go full tilt and really hit it hard. Because a lot of time when people go for that cross-court volley neck, they hit it hard without much cut and much direction in the racket head and strings. And the ball pops out and a stroke is being given away. So there is a subtlety with her delay in her hold. She lets the ball drop a little bit, lets it come side on. And at that moment, it could look like she's going straight. And her mammy, her opponent, thinks it is. So look at there, her little body weight's going to the right of the court. And what SJ does really well here is the way she's able to then use the strings to carve around the side and outside and down around that ball to be able to send it off in that direction. And look, it hits relatively high on the front wall and, and catches just above the nick. But there's a lot of the subtlety that, that makes it most effective in this shot. And something I'd like players to really try pay attention to rather than going that full tilt, really belted ball in. There's that little subtle hold, that, that real classic, beautiful technique from SJ there, bent elbow, cocked wrist, and that relatively late swing, side on, getting around the side and outside of the ball. And then the final thing to notice is look at this follow through. Look at how she throws her wrist downwards. Racket head's now pointing at the floor for, for a split second. So she's able to really manipulate the ball, get it round and down, cut it on in, and make her opponent's life really difficult.